But you guys, today we're taking a look at understanding graphics card settings. This is what we're going to be taking a look at today. Quite useful information for people who want to know a little bit about graphics cards and what to look for when you're looking for temperatures and other things and other information. Now, inside Windows, you can go to the Task Manager and look at GPU here. And there's very limited information inside here about your GPU. But you can get some useful information like the name of the graphics card that you're using and some other information like utilization, GPU memory, and uh, dedicated GPU memory, and so on, and shared GPU, uh, GPU memory and GPU temperature. So you can get that inside here, which is listed here. It doesn't give you any more information there, but if you want to get more detailed information, then there's a lot more easier ways to go about it without having to take the card out of the machine and all this sort of stuff. You can actually get a very good a uh, load of information from free software, which I'm going to show you now. So the free software we're going to be doing is Heaven Benchmark 2009. Now, this is really getting old now, but but I'm just going to use it to put a bit of load on the GPU. MSI Afterburner is an awesome piece of software that everyone should have installed on their PC. It's very useful. And also GPU-Z or GPU-Z depending on what part of the world you're in. It's a very good piece of software to get all the information you need about your GPU. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at as well. Now, GPU Shark is another probably unknown uh, piece of software that people uh, haven't used, but we'll take a look at that in more detail a little bit later on in the video. So let's get started and I'll get all this downloaded and installed and I'll show you exactly what you can do and have a look at your GPU and how to understand what's going on with your GPU uh, with this particular type of software. So I'm going to install Heaven Benchmark. And uh, now, like I said, there is other types of benchmark software out there which you can use. This is really just so I can put a bit of load on the GPU so you can see what's happening uh, with the GPU. Now, GPU-Z or GPU-Z is right here. You can see the name of the GPU. And also, you've got the technology here and the release date. And you've also got the BIOS version here on what the GPU is using. It'll give you all this information right here. It will tell you who the sub vendor is, which is MSI, give you the device ID. And then you can go through and take a look at all this other information down here, like DirectX 12. And you've got some PCIe, uh, PCIe X16, uh, which is your uh, bus interface here. Memory type, which is your GDDR6. And then we have the memory size, bandwidth and bus width. And also we have some other information like the uh, driver date when it was installed. And we've got the digital signature there and some other information. Now on the sensors part, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. This will give you more information about your GPU. Uh, once we put some load on the GPU, you'll start seeing some of these sensors uh, working and we can take a look at some of the information. So we've got the GPU clock here, and you can see it's only running at for, uh, 300 megahertz, and that's because we haven't got any load on it. But if we start using, say for instance, Heaven Benchmark and put in some uh, load on here, like using Ultra, and maybe do this one here, right up until we go extreme. And we can go to uh, anti-alias in here, put it on times eight, and we've got the resolution here. It will run 1920 by 1080p. And we've now got these settings here. Now, this is running DirectX 11, as you can see, but it's OK for what we want to do in this video. So I'm going to click Run here, and this will run the benchmark software. What we can do is once it's running, it will start populating up like here, and then we can push F9 to run the benchmark. Now, of course, we can't see at the GPU-Z or GPU-Z software because it's in the background and you need to go into the settings of that and change it so it's always on top so you can actually see what's going on. And from here, you'll be able to see the GPU clock and you'll be able to see the memory clock and the GPU temperature and things like that. It's really important that you keep an eye on this and you also know exactly what's going on with your GPU. And you'll probably see that the GPU is pretty much uh, going to be maxed out soon. So we've got the GPU temperature here running at 66.5, and it will tell you the hotspot. And we also have memory temperature here, 81 and 82 uh, Celsius there. 
Uh, there's the fan speeds right there. So the fan speed is 31% on fan one, and we've got fan one uh, rev, uh, revs per minute and or revolutions per minute, and you've got 1080 uh, right there. So 1,080 uh, RPM. So we've got fan speed two at 42%, and you've got also the fan speed two speed, and we've got the memory usage here as well, and the GPU load, which is at 100%. Now this will drop down to 90 odd and 100% uh, depending on the uh, image that you're seeing on the screen. It will drop down here and then it will go back when it's needing more GPU power. So you can see here, we've got the memory controller load and the uh, video engine load, which is zero. The board power draw here, this is a very interesting one for people who want to check the power draw from their GPU. This is the complete power draw for the GPU itself, the whole lot together. And you can see we are at 213 watts. It will go up and down uh, depending on how much wattage it needs. And again, we're around about 219 there, 216. So if you're using a, a very low end uh, power supply, you're going to see here straight away, this will start causing some issues. But that main uh, board power draw there, that is the a complete power draw limit. The GPU chip power draw is there as well, which is going to be obviously the one that's using all of that power. And there's a bunch of other ones there as well, which we can look at. So let me open up MSI Afterburner here. And what I want to do here is show you here, uh, the power draw is now dropped down because we do have the uh, benchmark dropped in the background. So it will uh, drop the power down because it's not on display being displayed as you can see there. So let's take a look at the actual settings here. Now, the power limit on this was set to 100%. If I drop this down to 50%, uh, that means the power draw will be a lot lower uh, on the GPU because uh, I've lowered it up to 50%. And you can see it's dropped right the way down to 109 watts. That means we'll use it less wattage, but also that means the GPU clock speed will also drop down as well and the memory clock, you can see they've dropped right down because we're using less power. And obviously it can't deliver the full uh, um, the full specs of the card because we're not giving it enough power. We've under basically undervolted that card. So if you give it more voltage, i.e. the maximum voltage, we're going over 100% now, and you'll see that we will get more GPU clock speed and we'll get more memory clock speed here. Um, which has gone up to 1750.2, but mainly the GPU clock speed is the one that changes. And you can see it's at 1950 now. So if I wanted to overclock that a little bit, I could do and get more. But if we come down here, which is really useful information, which is your power uh, consumption. And you can see here the uh, power consumption is your TDP and the uh, GPU voltage and the GPU uh, CPU temperature is on here as well. Now, really useful information is this area right here. If Let me just zoom in here. So if we look at 8-pin 1, power 1, that is your uh, power cable coming from your power supply to your GPU, and that is the 8-pin connector. And we've got uh, another one here, which is power, voltage, power. So we've got two going in there, and you can see the wattage going in. Now, if you're using things like splitters and things like that, that's when you can run into trouble, and that is why you need two separate 12 volt power rails going into uh, the graphics card for much more better safety uh, for that card and to give it good power delivery. Let me zoom back out here and we can now take a look at the uh, core clock here. So I'm going to put the power limit right the way up to maximum and the core clock is in your megahertz. And you can see here, you want to take it easy here because if you try to give it the full beans, it will crash the computer. And what we're going to do is just give this a little boost and you'll see the GPU clock at the very top change. So if I go up here now, you can see we've now boosted this up to 100 megahertz, which is a mild overclock for that particular uh, clock speed there. So it was on the default and we've now gone up to 20, 40 megahertz. Now, of course, you'd have to find out what your card can handle. If you want to overclock your card, you can basically do it like so.
Now, again, if you put too many uh, core clock speeds on there, it's going to basically crash the PC because the card won't be able to handle it. And some cards are better at overclocking than others. And again, you could just do, go in increments and just take your time. So be careful uh, with that particular thing because getting it stable is you know, essential to proper gaming. You don't want to be crashing and stuff like that every single time. And remember, the most dangerous thing for any sort of computer component is your volts that you're putting through it. It's going to shorten the life of that hardware. So, so this card is basically locked. You're not going to be able to do any of that sort of stuff. But you can see here on the GPU Shark, uh, you can see here it gives you a load of information about your GPU as well. Uh, but pretty much you can choose which software you like to get information about your GPU and how it's working. So if you've got any sort of idea that your card is playing up, you can use this method to sort of have a look at the temperatures and information uh, that is related to your card. So you can get some good information from that piece of software or those pieces of software that I showed you. So that is basic information on how you can check your GPU settings and what they mean uh, using those software that I showed you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.